We're here at Sage Wall, Tim Alberino, and yours truly, Ellie Marjuli. We are on the trail of Anethylene, and we're not here to disparage anyone. That's number one. We're just here to examine Sage Wall and give our opinion on it. Tim, we were just looking at something, yeah. and uh, this is why we think it's right. a natural formation. Explain it to us, please. Well, the claim is that this is a megalithic wall, artificially constructed, uh, reminiscent of Sacsayhuaman mm -hmm. in Peru, a place that both LA and myself are very, very familiar with. We have, both of us have examined that wall. And led tours there. And led tours right. there. We've examined it, examined it extensively. Now, the first thing I'll say when approaching this wall it is very impressive. It's, and, it, it, and it's reminiscent of Sacsayhuaman. It is. It is. It, 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 it's, it, it's extraordinary in terms of, a, in my opinion, a natural geologic formation. And, and this is the spot that LA and I have sort of zoned in on here because it, at first it would appear that these maybe are cut stones, but when you take a close look, you're going to see that what we have here is natural fissuring in, in, the, in the rock. And so you would think right away that this was a cut stone from far away, but as you approach, you'll see that this is not actually a cut. This is a fissure right. that must have, must have come about through natural pro processes. So um, my inclination so far, and I think you would agree, is that what we're looking at is a very interesting natural formation. It's, it's geological. and You've got to remember that the glacier that came down in North America, we're looking at an ice sheet that's a mile high. That's right. Yeah. All right, a mile high. You know how much weight that is? And so, and, and the forces of nature, the grinding of the stones, the movement of the glacier can certainly make something like this. Now, I realize it, it's pareidolia in the sense that, oh my gosh, it's, it's a man-made wall. And it looks that way. You know, it looks like the giants came here and made it. But this ain't Sacsayhuaman by a long shot. No. It's not. And what we, we don't see polygonal shapes. And this is, the, to me, this is the proof of the pudding right here. Because what we see is... This this cut starts from the bottom, but it ends here. The fissure right. yep. it ends right here. This one is just the opposite, and it's, it start it ends up there. So what we're looking at is, in my opinion, natural fissuring in the rock through uh, glaciation, through you know the the amount of energy in a glacier. It's 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 mind blowing. It's it's mm -hmm. you can't even get your head around it. You're looking at a mile high sheet of ice, and it can it can move it can completely change the landscape like that. So that's what I think we're looking at. And the other thing that it's important to note that some other people don't note when they come up here and make videos is that when you look around the landscape here, you have all kinds of interesting features as it pertains to these stones and the way that they're piled on top of each and, other. And we're going to show you some of those yeah. because there, there are places that, oh, that's a dolmen. No, it's not a dolmen. You know, the rock is split in half and another rock is on top of it. So this wasn't placed by Nephilim or giants. And, you know, with all due respect to those who want to believe that the giants built this, you believe whatever you want. But having been to the site now and seen it and explored it, this to me is, is, is classic. Well, not classic, but it's, it's glaciation. It's, it was formed by a glacier. And we certainly don't have an ax to grind out here. I live an hour away from this site, and I would like nothing more than for this to be an artificial megalithic wall. That would be amazing to be so close to. This would, this would be, if this were an artificial wall, it would probably be, in my opinion, the most important archaeological discovery in the history of America. Yeah, I, w I, would, I would concur. And the other thing is, y you know, if you're in the area or you want to see something which is mind-blowing, come to this yeah, site. Yeah, absolutely. This is incredible. Take the whole family, show your kids, this is what a glacier can do. This is what Mother Nature can do over a period of a couple thousand years or whatever. Um, 10,000 years, who knows? But it's an amazing site, certainly worth your time to come and look at it. So we're not disparaging the site or whatever. We're just saying, in our opinion, this is a natural formation. You see that once again, we're looking at some sort of a natural process, which is splitting the rock. And Tim yep. pointed that one up there. You right see exactly there, yeah. the same thing. You see what looks like, wow, this is amazing the way it's polygonal shape and it's all fitted together. But that's not the case. What we see. Point that out, Tim, right, right there. Right here, you can see this one. You might think All that this is down. a cornerstone right. of an artificial wall, but if you look right to the right here, you'll see a natural fissure, which is obviously a natural fissure in the stone, and it ends here. And then you can imagine that all of these fissures were created in the same, the same way. So it's just, it is, it's extremely interesting. It it's really very, is. And it's, and it's worth your time to come here. It really is, because it's an amazing natural phenomenon. 
another example of natural fishery we see this and it, you know as the water and, and and natural forces and and ice and whatever move things down so it stops here and then it splits same thing here mm -hmm. it just kind of dead ends in here I mean, if I had any type of a tool, chip it away. I could just go dink and chip that away. So what we're looking at is a natural process. Um, and I, I get it, to the untrained eye, when we first came into the wall, we were, Tim and I were both blown away. We went, oh my gosh, look at this. But then upon further scrutiny and careful scrutiny, we've noticed that, no, these, these cuts are not man-made, they're yeah. very irregular. And what differentiates this from Sacsayhua Mon, and, and certain parts of the Soxymoline wall are open, and you can see that the cut goes all, all the, the way, way through. through. It's polished. That's right, yeah. It's, and we don't see any anything like that here at all. And also, we were commenting that at, at Soxai Waman, because again, Soxai Waman is what is referenced by most people when they're right. looking at this wall. Because um, it's similar. It's similar, but, but in Soxai Waman, you have polygonal shaped stones. So you'd have stones like this, perhaps, but then right in the middle, you'd have a, a very obviously obvious polygonal stone that was cut to precision and slotted right in to fit up against the other stones and, and we don't see anything like Nothing that like that. Here. and they also see a sexy woman you'll see the curves at the end of the stone they'll come down here that's and right just a little curve like that that's right it's yep. like ah, because they can do it and they can do it with ease we're not looking at anything remotely like this at no. all here. and i mean you know even if you consider that this is maybe thousands and thousands of years old and heavily weathered i think we would still see some of that something some of that evidence yeah. and you know the last ice age is like you know over twelve thousand years ago mm -hmm. and you remember that that ice was covered north america it's, I, I can't stress this enough you think of what a mile looks like that's right and the laurentide ice sheet that's unbelievable the amount of pressure and weight that 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 glacier can right. can exert on a natural formation and it's carrying these boulders inside of it yeah and as exactly. it melts they just rest just on top rest of wherever, each other. wherever and that's the luck of a draw so if you have a big boulder that's let's say 30 or 40 feet up that 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 place like that and it just you right know, you can get a you can get a boulder just balancing right on right. top because and that's it was the just, luck of a draw exactly. I mean, that's, you're not going to see a lot of those but anyway so if you look from the front view of this wall, sage wall, these two stones appear to be cut or possibly cut and placed here. But if you come up to the back of the wall and on the top of the wall, you'll see that the fissure carries through here. But then on the back of this wall, these, this is one stone. It's fused together back here. So this is, these are not two cut stones. This is one solid stone with a fissure right down the middle and it is not all the way through on the back. That's a smoking gun that this is natural. Yeah. I'm out there flying, flying a drone and you're continuing your exploration of the back side and you've just discovered something which it's a smoking gun. Explain that. Well, from the front side, this appears to be two separate stones. Completely. Right? Yeah, and it Maybe looks like dressed. Cut stones, right, right cut dressed stones. stones. But when you come to the top, you're gonna to see this erratic fissure, fissure here, this formation, and it ends right, right here. there. Right, so this is one solid stone that through natural processes has been split. Has been split. So this is our, one of our smoking guns. We've seen some others. This is a natural formation, probably done by glaciation at the, at the end of the last ice age. Yeah. When, when that mile high wide glacier began to recede and cut these incredible features that we right. see. And the, and the problem is a lot of people come out here because this is, this is sage wall. But for miles on end in this, in this area, you have similar formations. Mm -hmm. And we'll show you some of those on the way out. And everybody films the front of them, but nobody no films comes to the, back. the back. Because this is what, and I live, I live close to here. Right. Me and my kids ride quads around here all the time. I'm always stopping and examining these, these formations because they look really cool. They, if you squint in your eyes, you, you feel like you're in a, a, in, a, in a megalithic city. Right. But when you do a close examination, you walk around the back of what appears to be perhaps a wall and you find this sort of natural smoking gun game over these and, are natural and once again if you're in the area or you want to just have a great hike and see something which is incredible a wonderful feat of nature this is the place to go so we're we're not don't don't come come here this place is amazing and you need to see it but it's certainly not the work of the nephilim or the giants in our it, opinion it, 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 to some extent it does Sakai Waman a little disservice to, it really to compare does. Sage yeah. Wall and Sakai. Yeah, it's not even close. Yeah.